So today we are looking at the review of the Zinc Erupt 4155 Bluetooth on your headphone. Now this one was on offer at rupees just 7.99 on Amazon. So I thought to try it out and review for you guys if it's even worth the money. Now make sure to check the description down below for latest updated pricing and also my other personal recommendations. So this headphone is packed with features. To begin with, it has a micro SD card slot for truly wireless experience. It also comes with 3.5 millimeter cable inside the box if you want to go wired. Supports hands-free calling with active noise cancellation, meaning it has a microphone built in so that you can use it for calling purpose. It also has complete music control buttons for added convenience. Now guys, before taking a look at how's the headphone and how does it sound, let's quickly unbox it, which is mandatory always, and see what's inside the box. So this is how the box looks on the front. As you can see the headphone design right over here itself. If you look at the back side of the box, there are features and specification written along with the manufacturer's details. So let's open the box and look at the headphone itself. Here it comes folded, which means it is easy to carry folded anywhere inside your backpack maybe. There's also 3.5 millimeter cable included if you want to listen wired. Is there any difference between listening wired as well as wireless with this particular pair of headphone? Let's find out later in this video. Now there is micro USB for charging the headphone as well. So it also comes with a carry case, which is handy and always a nice addition. And as usual, it also comes with a user guide manual. Now taking a look at the headphone itself, it's a glossy black finish. Good thing is it's not fingerprint magnet as we see with the other headphones with this kind of piano black finish. Usually it's fingerprint magnet, but this one is not. So it looks nice and premium. Headrest has decent padding here, decent enough to rest on your head for longer period. So no issues there. It's also adjustable to quite a good amount. Also the adjustable mechanism is nice, though it would have been a lot smoother but definitely gets the job done. You know, it's plasticky, so that is how it goes. You can fold it either way and make it compact to carry in your backpack like I showed you earlier. Now guys, the ear cups here has this fox leather padding which is soft, comfy as well as thick, which is really good actually compared to some of the other headphones in this price range. Like always, because it is a on-ear headphone, it could make your ear sweat and heats up quickly. So that thing you should keep in mind. Personally, I'm not a fan of on-ear headphones, so this is one particular reason why I don't buy on ear headphones. So how's the sound quality now? That's what you all have been waiting for. So let's find out now. It's a mixed bag here. This erupt headphone has loud volume output. Yes, it gets pretty loud, which could be good or bad because of the way these headphones are tuned. So wait for it. It comes with 40 millimeter driver, but the frequency here is tuned more towards lower as well as higher end. So you will be missing mid frequencies a lot. So if you love that extra punch from the mid frequency, you will be disappointed. It just isn't there. The higher frequency also produces slight distortion at higher volumes, which uh, I didn't feel quite good listening to it at like say 100% volume. The low frequency sound is managed quite well here, but that could be good if you are using these for watching movies more than listening to music. Yep, that's the uh, thing where this headphone differentiates, like if you want to use it for music or if you want to use it for watching movies. Now guys, simply speaking, if you're looking for a headphone to watch movies on your laptop, you'll be happy with this headphone. But if you're looking for great music listening experience, you should look at other options. So make sure to check the description box down below for my other recommendations. Also guys, I was talking about wired as well as wireless experience. Nope, that wasn't the case with this pair. So I did not feel any particular difference between wired as well as wireless. Now here, the great thing is battery backup is very nice with this pair of headphones. So that's what, again, a pro here with just 799 rupees wireless Bluetooth headphone, the battery backup is really great. Moreover, this headphone is loaded with features. Like I said earlier, micro SD card slot for truly wireless experience, aux input for, uh, you know, if you want to go wired, full multimedia control buttons, which is great. Also, I did not face any issues with Bluetooth connectivity. Also, the call quality was great. So it's just you deciding whether to buy it for music or for movie purpose. Either way, I suggest you listen it at up to 85% volume if you are getting these headphones. So guys, that's it in this review video. I hope this video helped you with your purchase decision. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this review video. And guys, I will see you all in another one. Till then, take care everyone. Bye-bye.